Hello and welcome to Corona. If you're thinking about how to start a smoke shop, there are a lot of items to consider beforehand. Not only is the business age restrictive, but there are a lot of rules and regulations that control the industry. It's important that you go into the process with full knowledge of legal implications and that your business complies with each of them. Once you have the hard stuff out of the way, opening a new tobacco shop can be a whole lot of fun. Business owners can combine it with liquor and wine sales or even add a small lounge area with food and drink service. You have a lot of options to make your store stand out and successful. But first, let's take a look at the steps to opening a new smoke shop. The first step to any successful business is to plan ahead. A thorough business plan is the best way to start. There are several key areas to cover when writing a great smoke shop business plan. Explain who you are, describe what you plan to sell, identify your target audience, exhibit what makes you stand out, describe your operational plan, show how you'll market, and track future cash flow. Starting with a business plan will keep you and your team organized and provide more opportunities for business loans or other outside investment. Next, find out what licenses you'll need. In such a heavily regulated industry, it's critical to obtain all proper licenses and permits prior to opening. You must get a retail tobacco license from your state government. This allows you to legally sell tobacco products and tobacco related items. The application is typically submitted with a one-time licensing fee. Approved applications are valid for a year, but are non-transferable to other businesses or locations. If you have a smoke shop business with multiple locations, you'll need to get tobacco licenses for each spot, though you can usually submit a single application for all locations. If you sell tobacco products across state lines, you must get a tobacco wholesaler license from any state that you intend to sell to. All required licenses must be prominently displayed at each location. You must also keep all receipts and invoices for all wholesale cigarette and tobacco products that you've purchased over the past four years. Failure to do both of these items will result in steep fines from city, state, or even federal governments. In addition to the business plan, you'll have to figure out exactly what type of business yours will be legally. For most smoke shops, there will be four primary options, sole proprietorship, partnerships, LLCs, and corporations. The vast majority of smoke shops will be LLCs. If you have a team and other investors, this should be one of the first items to figure out. After deciding upon the business type you'll operate, you must register with your state and federal government again to set up your tax structure. You'll also need to register for your business name. Make sure the name you intend to use is available prior to submitting paperwork for licenses and permits. Start by checking the registry with your local government to make sure your business name isn't taken already. Most small businesses will choose a doing business as or DBA name. This means that your actual business could be registered under your own name, but your DBA will be different. The DBA is what customers will know your store by. Remember, DBAs do not provide any legal protection against any other business from using the same name. If you're worried about copyright issues, you'll need to go through the US Trademark and Patent Office. Smoke shops, like any business, also need to get insurance. Business insurance from the very beginning is a must for any type of retailer. Smoke shops are certainly no exception. There are a lot of risks assumed when opening a new tobacco store, so you want to make sure you're protected if anything goes wrong. Additionally, if you started to hire some people, make sure that you also get workers' compensation insurance in case any of your employees is injured on the job. Next, your location. There are a lot of smoke shops out there. By some estimates, the United States has close to 30,000 stores alone. So when you're choosing your location, make sure you're not entering an extremely competitive location. You can also look beyond strip malls. Smoke shops seem to have a propensity towards small shopping centers, but there are other options. While you don't want to be in an overly competitive area, you still want to pick a location with a lot of foot traffic and convenient spot for shoppers to stop by. It's not easy to find this ideal spot, but it's worth the time and effort to find it. Next, focus on your team. They'll be the face of your store and your brand, so you need to be ready to find a great staff. The first thing to look out for are motivated and talented people. Smoke shops typically have a massive inventory and product selection, and many shoppers come in with questions and need some direction. Your staff should be prepared to be able to answer questions and help each customer navigate the shopping experience. Start interviewing for positions early in the process and offer competitive pay so that you attract the best candidates out there. Basic marketing efforts is another critical item to consider prior to opening your doors. Your marketing game will be an ongoing effort and therefore one that you can worry more about down the road. But you also need to have a few things in place from the beginning. Set up all social media accounts before your opening, build a website and blog, get listed on Google, Yelp, and any other applicable sites, look at other media outlets that might be interested in announcing your opening, and maybe even come up with a grand opening deal or event. Finally, figure out your inventory. For smoke shops, keeping an accurate and efficient inventory system is the most critical part of getting started. You can't afford to be out of products that customers want, and you never want to carry items that aren't popular, especially at the beginning. Get a great inventory system through your smoke shop POS system your point of sale will make business operations a lot faster and simpler. Corona comes with features built specifically for smoke shops, including age verification prompts, carton and pack inventory settings, loyalty points programs, and speedy transactions. To learn more about Corona, sign up for a free trial to see for yourself. And for more information on starting other types of businesses, check out our blog. We go in deep on POS info and offer a wide range of general retail advice too. So thanks for visiting us and we hope to see you again soon.